Hi guys, it's your girl Diva on Saturdays. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. It's your girl Diva on Saturdays, and I'm here with the top conversations every couple needs to have. Now, let me start off by saying I am not a counselor. <laughs> I'm not a marriage counselor, I'm not a couples counselor, anything like that. Um, a friend of mine just got engaged and it just got me thinking like, hmm, you know, couples should have certain conversations either early in a relationship or when you put some years in. So she put some years in. So, you know, it's, it's about that time to have certain conversations. And I just thought that this would help some people out there. Um, just, you know, when you're having dinner, you guys can have these conversations, or when you're at home, when it's more private, you guys can have these conversations. I think the one of the conversations definitely that you need to have is about money. Now, <laughs> financial stress is the number one cause of divorce, and it's because nobody wants to talk about it, and if you do talk about it, it's gonna lead to an argument. It's just inevitable, it's just how it is. And, <sighs> Lord, I can't even tell you how many times Chase and I had to have conversations and it did end up in an argument. And it, it's stressful, it's, especially if you're living from paycheck to paycheck and you still want to have some money that you want to play around with, but yet it needs to go towards bills. It can be a mess. So, but it is important to have these conversations about your money, whether you're going to have a separate account, a joint account, um, just get that out of the way, what percentage you're putting away, just get those things out of the way now and discuss about a savings plan you know how much you're going to put away just talk about it i know it may end up in an argument but it still needs to be discussed so you don't you know everybody's on the same page you guys are a unit you want to make sure that you guys don't argue just try not to argue about it just hands down sit down pen and paper have that conversation the corporate conversation and get it out of that's yeah um, another conversation I think every couple should have is goals and dreams and this kind of goes hand in hand with the money situation because you want to be able to have short-term and long-term goals and talk about your dreams and all those things combined as a couple and then again as an individual I've been in a relationship this is my second long-term relationship my first long-term relationship was my absolute first relationship ever and I got lost in it to the point where I didn't even know who I was like I didn't know what I liked anymore I didn't you know I just did what he would just do just would you want to do that sure let's do that you know and I never really placed an opinion really and now that I'm married uh, Chase and I have been married for six years I just I've become I've come into my own as an individual and I've talked about my goals, long-term, short-term, my aspirations in my life as an individual, but as well as a couple. And we've had that conversation and we're on, we're on the same page. And if I want to put some money aside for my dream, he understands and I'm able to do that. And there's no questions asked. And the same for him as well. So it's just really important to have that conversation. Um, I'm not saying that you have, to, you have to have these conversations that I'm talking about. You don't have to have these in the beginning of the relationship. Some of these you can kind of touch base on them a little bit in the beginning without scaring that person. But when you put some years in, yeah, go ahead and have these conversations. Very important. But um, yeah, long term, short term goals. Um, at what age, long term, at what age do you want to retire? Um, do you want to still stay in the home after your kids are grown up? Do you want to sell? Things of that nature. Um, where do you want to retire to? Just, you gotta talk about these things. And it's just important. Another thing you have to talk about is faith. <laughs> you gotta talk about faith and you know where you guys stand as a couple, as an individual and then as a couple. It's just, it's really, it can end up being an argument as well. You kinda wanna make sure you're on the same page. If you're different but yet you compromise, that's the key word, you have to be able to compromise. That's that's it. So just, you know, have that conversation about faith, how you wanna raise your family, you know, regarding that. And without getting too much into that topic, um, let's talk about something else. Uh, end of life wishes. Now, it's very hard 
to talk about this because nobody ever wants to talk about you know death and I'm in a medical field and it's just really important to get your affairs in order to have that conversation and decide like what where you want to be buried you know just that conversation now Chase and I have talked about that what we've been in we've been together for six years so we do have this conversation with each other and we are at an understanding which is good so yeah if you're if you've been married two years if you're a young couple you don't have to really touch base on that unless you really want to get this out of the way but you know older couples you've been in it for you've been in the marriage for a while you kind of do want to get that taken care of and written down on paper because <laughs> if it's not written on paper it doesn't exist and that's what they say in the medical field so if you don't have it written down it didn't exist so you got to make sure you have that documented properly another conversation that every couple needs to have is parenting styles yes parenting styles so you have to get that in an agreement no good cop bad cop none of that you got to come together and be you know just be one unit with that that can be an, an argument too but you gotta come together. Um, I know that with Chase and I, I would be bad cop, he would be good cop, but we also communicate a lot. And when it comes down to it, we'll be, we would come together in agreement to what we need to do to our child. But it's very important to talk about that. You gotta talk about parenting styles and how you wanna raise your children. Get that out of the way, talk about it. And I mean, talking about it before you have kids is very good, but once you have them, it's different. So, you know, just keep each, keep each other in check and um, make sure that you, there's no surprises and you guys just, you know, come together when it, the time comes. The next thing that you guys should talk about as a couple, um, make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, um, why, what makes you, you have to remember why you're in this relationship with this person. After being married for so long, you talk about the business part of being married and you that kind of grows especially if you're under financial stress and parenting stress all that the business part of it overshadows the fact of what attracted you to this person to begin with because you're arguing so much about this other stuff you forget you know like why you love this person what first drew you to this person what was the qualities that you love it's just you have to remind each other every so often, you know, even saying I love you can be like on auto, auto plane, auto, what do you call it, auto, autopilot, it can be on autopilot and you just be like, I love you, I love you too. And it kind of, it doesn't lose its meaning, it's just robotic. So instead of just saying I love you all the time, just, you know, kind of throw in a compliment every once in a while and just remind yourself and that person why you love them, why you chose them. And it's just really important because after so long being in a marriage, it can get stale and you can get sometimes looking at that other person just bothers you and you're just like, oh, he, I hate the way he chooses food. It bothers me so much. But you got to remember why you're with that person. Like, yeah, he chooses food loud, but at least he doesn't hit you or at least he always tells you how much he loves you constantly. It can be so much worse. So just back off of him and guys too, back off of the ladies and back off of us too and just, you know, give a compliment every once in a while because it could be worse. Uh, <laughs> I remember when Jason and I first got together, he was so surprised that I knew how to cook. And I guess, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Every girl should know how to cook, you know, it's the way to a man's heart. You got to their stomach, right? So you gotta know how to cook. But a lot of girls that he was with, the girls he was with before me, they just didn't know how to cook. They just wanted to spend money and look cute and not cook. And it was just, it was funny. But uh, yeah, just remind yourself why you're with that person and just make sure you continually check up on that person emotionally. you got to have those conversations and see how your wife or husband or your partner, how they are emotionally. Keep that in check because... That's another reason why people cheat is because they try to talk to that person and let them know what's bothering them and that person doesn't have time or they really don't want to hear it and you got to be able to listen. Care enough to listen and want to work on it. So yeah, those are the top conversations I think every couple should have. 
you know, you know your relationship better than anyone. So you decide when you want to throw those topics in there. It could be when you're having, like I said, having dinner and no one's talking. You're just kind of like looking around. You can just, hey, by the way, if we have kids, what do you think about blah, blah, blah? You know, throw those things out there. And this can also be for single ladies out there, some of the check marks that you can put on your list because we all have, we, I had it too. I had a checklist of what my ideal person, what I shouldn't say ideal what my future partner husband should have and just mark those things down whether you know how about money parenting styles the faith they should have the you know long the goals and aspirations and just make sure that you definitely write it down pray on it do what you need to do and that person should come for you that person should be should or will be around the corner i know when i met chase I was not looking at all. If you guys want a video on that, I'll actually get Chase in on it too and we'll do like how we met video if you guys want to know. And if you haven't seen Ch Chase, check out my Instagram. He's on my Instagram all the time. So do go on there. It's Diva on Saturdays with an S at the end. Go to my Instagram, check out my pictures and you'll see Chase. And if you guys want to see those videos, let me know. If you want to see more couples videos with Chase in it, please let me know. So if you like this, please comment and like and subscribe. I'm new. Please subscribe, guys. I'm working hard, trying to anyways. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.